few years ago, if you told me that all the rain corals would be gone, I would have never believed it until I've seen it with my own eyes. And in the course of about a year and a half, this disease came in and basically wiped out almost the entire colony of rain coral. I'm out on the water every day. Obviously, we make our living out here, so we take people out to the reef uh, for the enjoyment of seeing the reef. You know, Florida Keys is one of the few uh, natural coral reefs that we have in the continental U.S. So for us, it's extremely important. Right now, what we're doing is we're holding the corals uh, safely and healthy in, in, our, in, in our care. Um, the corals, since we got them, they were all collected in front of the disease line. So these corals would uh, potentially, if they're still in the wild, up to 90% of them would have, would have been uh, dead. The state that we live in is basically due to historic coral reefs, coral reefs that were around in, back in the uh, back a million years ago. Um, they protect us from hurricanes. They produce. Uh, they, they give us thousands of dollars a year, millions of dollars a year in, in economic return from divers, uh, people down that enjoy enjoy the Keys as uh, recreational boaters. Once a colony has been infected, it kills 90 to 100 percent of stony coral tissues. So it's just an incredible, you know, incredibly devastating event and disease for the, the animals.